So uh, in this tutorial that I'm about to show you, uh, the main key to it is I want to show you a process of painting that you probably haven't seen uh, too much online. A lot of the stuff that I see online is a lot of, you know, they draw everything out pretty clearly, uh, pretty detailedly, and then it's a lot of filling in, which is a way to do things, but, you know, I prefer this way of doing things. I think this way leads to more flexibility in the way you paint uh, in the long term. And it really gives you a chance to learn how to really control the paint in terms of the, you know, dark to light, uh, uh, thin to thick uh, principles that I talk a lot about in my videos. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Doesn't mean that you have to paint this way, but I just really wanted to show you, you know, the way I like to go about um, painting, especially portraits, uh, with this method that's you know not drawing something out and then filling it in. It's more of, of building and, and sculpting and, and cutting away things and and building things up uh, to find uh, the painting. So I hope you enjoy. So my colors on my palette today in this order, I got some phthalo blue, ultramarine blue, lizard and crimson, burnt sienna, um, Indian yellow, yellow ochre, and cadian lemon, and titanium white. I'm just using some uh, burnt sienna right now and uh, paint thinner off camera. I've got some Gamsol and some linseed oil, as always, because I'm gonna start with the dark and work to the light, and the kind of way to think about it is, um, you know, this is an eye socket, so it's, you know, not gonna get, you know, as much light, you know, the deeper the eye socket is, uh, um, like the more shadowed. So I'm gonna start, like, you know, deep into the eye socket and work my way and, like, kind of build out um, build out the eye. So if I was painting this, I would lay in pretty good dark here. Gonna start lightening up my colors here. I see that this eyebrow is kind of ridge. Just this peak, I'm gonna start kind of defining things and cutting through a lot of this dark. I'm just thinking about shapes right now. And this isn't, I'm not trying to teach any kind of, you know, set sequence of steps here. I'd much rather you kind of understand the principles of what I'm doing um, so then you can, you know, apply this on your own, got this eyelid, and I'm just going to play the light area and kind of use this dark that I already laid down to be the the darker part in the crease. Um, thing with whites of the eyes, a lot of people make them way, way too bright. It's probably the most common thing. Um, they're actually knocked back quite a bit so I'm gonna get some blue a little touch of red and this is just to kinda of help me get an idea what I'm looking at here it's a little more blue again I'm not super worried about color being a hundred percent precise I feel like the best way maybe to describe how I'm painting here is like sculpting and I, I got to get the clay up on there first even though if it's not right like I'd rather get the clay on there and then worry about shaping it. Now for this eyelid a thing a lot of people don't I feel like miss with eyelids is that you got to realize that the eyeball is a sphere and this eyelid is wrapping around um, the sphere. So when you put a high, you know, when you put these highlights in, like you see, see this eyelid catching little highlights here, it's not going to be completely across the whole eyelid. It's just going to be in this one section here because that's the section that is, you know, the closest out. You know, the rest is, you know, this, you know, it curves back into the corner there and it curves back into the corner there. So you got to be thinking of it 
kind of three-dimensional like that. I feel like this is missed all the time is this bottom eyelid because people get all caught up in, you know, eyelashes and, and a lot of people like drawing the eye and they'll draw in the eye and so they'll have this harsh black line under it. But a lot of times it's the opposite. Like you can see in the photo reference, the difference of color of this white eyeball and what's, you know, right up against his eyelid is not that different from one another. They're very, very close. Even though this, I feel like I'm going to lighten this eye up a little bit more, but this eyelid kind of starts up here, goes down. That's another thing, getting the angle. brighten my eyeball a little bit. Another thing with eyeballs is a lot of people just kind of throw in a color. One will make it too bright most of the time. Second, they don't realize that they're, you know, you're still, you're painting a sphere. So this right side of the eye is going to be uh, lighter than this side. All right, now I do see that I can go kind of darker in certain areas, so I'm going to take some of my ultramarine blue and burnt sienna. It's kind of my go-to for a black. I don't really use black. I don't have black on my palette most of the time. Um, so I can use this to construct the solid. I see that this is just not the right shape. This actually gets tapered down, so going to kind of reconstruct that angle and then there's eyelashes see I'm not worried about painting individual eyelashes I'm just kind of seeing the mass shape here this like I kind of, to know how dark this eyelid is, if it, it's too dark or not, I need to compare what it's next to. And if I don't have what it's next to in the right value, I'm not going to get it right. So I see that this is pretty light right here. And now that I'm laying this in, I'm seeing that I probably could make the uh, the lip on the lower eyelid brighter so I'm going to go back in and adjust that and now you know, that's the thing to watch for is that this top part of the eye is going to be a little darker because it's going to be catching, so it's going to be the, the eyelid above it is going to be casting a little bit of a shadow. I can kind of just make the bottom part lighter. Now eyebrows, uh, you know, be aware of not making them too dark. A lot of people make the eyebrows too dark. Um, they don't think, you know, they don't look for things that you look for, you know, when painting anything else. You know, there's darker areas and lighter areas. And this eyebrow, even though it's hair, like think of it as just kind of like one strip. Don't think of it as like a bunch of individual hairs. Just think of it as one mass. And this mass is being wrapped around the face. It's still being wrapped around. So this area up here just like this part of the eyebrow or um, like the brow bone right here we made lighter and it gets darker here same thing with the eyelid you know like I was saying earlier we have that that light area then it gets darker in the court same things gonna happen to this eyebrow certain areas are gonna be darker than others I feel like I should just paint this whole face now this corner of the eye and the white, 
very dark, but there is a slight difference. Ooh, whoa. Best to try and get this in one go, and I see the it kind of breaks the the why the eye and the color of the eye here. Okay. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. I also offer you this video and this video. Please choose one, they're both good.